Bana, big thanks for tuning into my channel. Many to our Madubi and of course I'm a happy soul. Nipo happy sana leo ndani ya Chalo Culture. Nimeweza kukutana na Masi. Of course ndo kama ana glow sana. Wacha to find out ku glow kwa leo ndo kama ulikuwa umekupangia utakuwa na dress hivi ama wewe kuja kwenye event kama hizi. Ni wewe unajichagulia ku dress ama mtu ana ku dress? Niko na stylist huwa ananjaribia kunitafutia manguo kadhaa tunavaa pamoja alafu yenye inakaa vizuri zaidi ndio tunaenda nayo. Nasema leo ta struggle na Kiswahili. Ita struggle lakini nitaweza. Kiswahili ni lugha ya taifa. Ya taifa. <laughs> Sasa mimi nasema big thanks by the way kwa kutokea kwenye platform hii. Uh, nataka tuzungumzie kwanza unakaa vizuri umependeza. That's why nilileta as the first point. So nataka tuzungumzie the Chalo culture. Ah uh, ikalchi ambayo ndo kama mnajaribu kuipotray by the way kwa mafans wenu of course ndo kama unaizungumziaje culture nzima kutoka tumeanza season 1 mpaka tumeingia season 2 yeah i think um, tumepata opportunity badada zangu kuonyesha na culture ya Kenya inakaje culture ya wanawake inakaje especially young ladies kama sisi culture yetu ikwaje ukweli wetu ni mgani uh, na ndio maana tunasherekea hiyo opportunity sote tunasema ukweli kila mtu anaongea kutoka kwa roho yake yeah so tunashukuru hii culture hii culture ni ya kikenya so hiyo opportunity yetu inatuonyesha tuna tuko na opportunity ya kuongea culture ya kikenya ni gani na ndio maana tuko hapa uh, tukizungumzia kuonesha na reality shows of course inafaa kuwa real life ya celebrity ambayo ndo kama anafuatiliziwa but uh, unajua ikikuja ni masuala ya kuwekwa kwenye camera lights action uh, in a sync pamoja na acting wakati kamera zinawashwa ina maana kwamba mnaonesha your reality life kweli ama chalo culture iko kama ni actors tu flani ambao ndo kama wamewekwa kwenye tv Sasa ni kwambe, wacha ni kwambu kweli, mimi na madada zangu, hakuna moja yetu wamepata acting lessons. Sisi sote, we are just natural. Wametutua kwenye makazi zetu, mi ni mwana biashara, beti ni mwana biashara likuwa media personality, dadangu ni, ni student. So, hakuna acting, hakuna script tunajua, tumembua tu, kweni nyinyi tutawasha kamera. So, hakuna script, ni sisi tu ni maisha yetu unayona vinyo ilivyo. Vile ilivyo. Vile vile ilivyo. Kuna kitu umeki mention kwamba wamewa tap from uh, wakati sema ambazo ndo kama mlikuwa mnapata your sources of the income. Uh, discussion yenu kuja ili, ilikuwa mnatolewa mahali mulikuwa kabisa like uh, nyinyi kuwa kwenye chalo culture. Is it a full time job opportunity ama bado chalos wana uwezo kufanya kazi zao tofauti? Uh, unajua ni ngumu sahi kututenganisha kwa kazi yetu sababu kisema masi kialo yalo ni kama masikia kwa kwa chalo ma kialo 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 eh, najua kuna chalo wengi lakini yetu ni kialo kutoka acha ni kwambie kwetu uko kitui ka, clan yetu hatuna cha tuko na kia yeah sasa um, uki, awezi tutenganisha kwa biashara zetu uh, dadangu beti ye uh, ni mwana hairdresser sasa hii biashara yake ni ya kutengeneza watu beauty hawezi mtenganisha kwa hiyo biashara so kia local chain imekuja kuongezea tu kwa kazi zetu ndio naweza sema ni full time sababu tunafanya kazi kutoka asubuhi tunamaliza usiku kabisa siku nyingi za wiki lakini si zote lakini bado tunaweza kufanya kazi zetu zote pamoja hakuna kuacha yoyote zote ni kazi zetu wewe bado pia inamaanisha mko na free time pale ndani hakuna free time free time imeisha free time imeisha nimepotea uh, sasa tu ni kazi uh, kia local culture tunamka uh, uzuri wa kia local culture ni, ka, ni ku wana shoot maisha yetu uh, as much as tunakuwa glamorous tunapakwa makeup bado ni maisha yetu so mm. iko sure by the way in some way uh, in as much as inafanya mna glow kama kia local culture in some way kuna vitu ambavyo ndo kama imewaangushia trust me na feel kwamba mabeshti ambayo ndo kama mlikuwa nao sasa hizi hamna access nao vizuri kuna watu ambao ndo kama mlikuwa in contact kwa ukaribu sasa hizi ndo kama hamko hamko na ukaribu sababu ya time ambayo mna spend nyinyi kushokesia maisha yenu ina affect nyinyi in any way ama mko sawa nayo tu um, ukweli kitu, kila kitu inakuja na effects zake um, so ukweli wa maneno hatuna hiyo wakati mwingi sana na watu wetu lakini ile wakati ndogo tuko nayo tuna enjoy sana nao um, and ukweli pia tu ni kujulikana kwingi 
unakuanga una lose access na watu wengi sana somehow it happens just that way so naweza sema tu ni maisha inaendelea ku happen endelea ku sasa sawa tu mzungumzie masi bethe kwenye season acha tuanze na masi eh ah kwa upande wako sasa mpaka umenichanganya ilikuwa ni kuuliza nini but anyway tuzungumzie kwa upande wako wewe uh, kwenye season 2 tutakuona the same person ambayo ndo kama ulikuwa season 1 ama kidogo pia ume transition kulingana na season 2 eh nime transition before i was 20 something now i'm 30 something life may change uh, na life lazima change na naonyesha hiyo definitely nimekuwa mtu mwingine nimeenda nika travel nime relax nime meet new friends niko kwenye new relationship of course nime change yeah experience ya kuwa kwenye new relationship size iko vipi kofiti relationship huwa zinaanza vizuri sana na si eti zinisha vibaya but um na enjoy mali niko sahi na mwenye niko na yeye Sometimes by the way utapata sister yako Betty ama sometimes pia Gloria wako so harsh on you kwenye sinema ambayo ndo kama mmetuandalia. Mimi nataka kujua uh, wakati mshamalizana na program imeisha kuna time ambayo ndo kama mna creating time ya yenye kuwa na peaceful interaction ama vitu kama hivyo. Uh, not really by the way. Hakuna time aside because Kenya unaona inafanyika mbele ya kamera ndio maisha yetu. So unapata sengine tukikosana hata mbele ya kamera tunakosana tu hata kimaisha na hadi turudiane kimaisha. Yeah. Umefikia point kwamba umekataa kushoot sababu umekasirishana ile okay tunajua inafaa kuwa part of reality lakini una feel no mahali imefikia siwezi kuingia kwa set sababu sister yangu amenikasirisha na kitu fulani inafika ngapi hiyo point? Ikuwa inafika um, lakini pia unakumbuka hii ni kazi. <laughs> kazi yako ni kazi yako so unaingia kwa hiyo set hata kama umekasirika eh pigwa ina unapigwa vile ulivyo sababu hiyo ndio reality tumekuja kwenye launch ya season 2 ina maisha kwamba tushamaliza ku shoot ama pro, shooting progress bado inaendelea tunaendelea bado tuko karibu kabisa kumaliza but tume tume shoot a, a big part tuifunge challenges ambazo mnapitia uh, saizi kwenye kumaliza season 2 uh, ina, ina, inafanya kwamba nyinyi mnakuwa katika position gani kujipanga of course unajua season 2 ikisha tuna anticipate kwamba season 2 itakuwa kali zaidi ya season 1 and of course zile challenges ambazo mnapitia mnazipitia saizi ni kama zipi tukishoot tu, tu, tu uh, challenge tu ni kuongea ukweli Unajua reality ni kuongea ukweli ya maisha yako. Na hiyo ni ngumu sana. Vitu zingine si rahisi ku address. Hata vitu zingine kama madada si rahisi kuongea pamoja. Lakini tunajaribu. Hizo ndio challenges nimeona so far. Um, wakati <laughs> wakati tumeshaendelea kuzoea vile vya kujipanga kiwakati na kibiashara lakini challenge kubwa ni ile tu ukweli wa maneno sister yangu unaweza muambia ukweli wa maneno ya niambie ukweli na zinauma saa nyingine lakini tume learn that sisi ni madada for life so lazima tuchukue kila siku pole pole swali la mwisho of course najua kuna private life in as much as we choose the public life uh, tunataka kujua kuna vitu ambavyo chalo culture ama masi wameweza kutufichia sisi hatuvijui in public na hatujawahi pia kuviona ndani ya chalo culture kweli kunayo sababu as much as ni reality show kuna vitu ambavyo mimi mwenyewe kama mwanadamu ningependa kujiwekea vitu zenye zinaweza zinifurahisha mimi mwenyewe ni ukiniona mahali ni napiga tabasamu unaona tu iko kwa roho yangu so kuna vitu vingi tumejiwekea but vitu vingi pia tumepea dunia yeah mimi nasema big thanks for your time na na anticipate kwamba season 3 ikikuja itakuwa ya moto zaidi ama tuna ma- Tunataka kuleta tunakutokea pia kwenye season zingine ama chalo culture span yake inafaa kuishia wapi Si tume tumeambia Mungu tumewampatia Mungu yote na tumejipea wenyewe tumejileta tumejipea 100% wacha Mungu afanye kazi yake Yeah. Big thanks for your time. Mas. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yeah. Karibu tukule kitu kunywe asthma. Eh. Hey. Try vile ume manage kuongea Kiswahili. Hai nimejaribu. Asante <laughs> sana. Uh, thanks eh. Uh, thanks too.